Here to discuss whether Europe is losing the fight against radical Islamic terror and the late breaking news on Otto Warmbier is Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, Senior Fellow with the London Center for Policy Research. Welcome, good to have you here. Thanks, Trish, good to be here. Uh, let's start with Otto Warmbier, the 22 sure. year old American student who was there in North Korea. Uh, what do you think happened? Because basically they sent him home and this poor kid. He died days they tor later. They tortured him to death. Uh, and I, my son's 23-year-old, and I can completely sympathize and feel terrible for the parents of this, this, this kid. Um, uh, he was essentially um, repeatedly uh, subjected to sodium pentothal, which is a truth serum, if you will. It's mm -hmm. been used in a lot of the spy movies. And what happens, uh, Trish, if you overuse that, if you use it constantly, uh, it basically burns the brain out. So this kid was essentially... His brain was burned out. So why did they the, send him back? I mean, wh I, why didn't they, you know, I think I they, they finish the job there in North Korea? Why did they send him back? I think, I think President Trump did put a lot of pressure on him. This is one of the things he did pick up and look mm -hmm. at when he first came into office, and this was in January. So 150 days in, you know, this was a, re a result. And the other thing, I think the North Koreans are recognized that they had done such grave damage to this kid, there was no going back. So wow. uh, I'll say this to be very clear. I think we ought to retaliate. I, I think this retaliate. should not stand. Well, look. Well, what do you mean, retaliate? During, How do you during, retaliate? During the Cold War, Trish, we had a, a number of organizations uh, that did uh, dirty tricks. Uh, Un, uh, Kim Jong-un should not r believe that we will not uh, seek vengeance righteous vengeance for these sorts of things. And I think he needs to, we need to start looking at how we can, we can do this sort of you thing. You know, one of the things, Colonel, is it, it seems like we play by the rules, right? We while, do. while nobody else is playing by that set of rules. And we have very, you know, very prescribed things. For example, you can't go out and, and, and knock off a, a dictator uh, via an assassination attempt, right. yet somehow that dictator that's doing really bad things to their people is allowed to exist. Right. And we go and bomb places and, and people are, are hurt as casualties when right. you just want to get the bad guy. Well, yeah, so this is where we, we need to look at our policies again. Uh, again, during the Cold War and other things that I've worked on, uh, you, you should be as severe as your enemy. The enemy does not understand being nice. And until you get serious about intimidating and, and affecting that enemy in a very personal way, you will continue to see things like this happen. So. Well, and you think about this poor kid who was captured by North Koreans. Yeah. Uh, at a time when President Obama was there, and, and we didn't do a whole lot. There was no. this sort of passive uh, attitude. Leading from behind, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let me turn to Europe right now. Sure. Because, uh, Speaking of leading from the, behind. Uh, <laughs> really, continue, it seems like every day, every week, we're hearing about new yeah. attacks. How are they going to get a handle on this? Well, look, what this tells me today, Trish, is that they have still not gotten the memo that ISIS has overlapping and redundant networks. This person today, was armed, attacking the French again. Uh, how, uh, you know, how many times do you have to be attacked before you need to figure out you have a network of operatives working effectively across borders? Again, guns are very difficult to come by, mm -hmm. and yet he was armed. So this needs to be a clue. But Colonel, a lot of people in France feel like it's our fault. You know, they, or yeah, well, they, they, it's our fault. We, you know, we're just not being nice enough. We haven't integrated them enough. We need to yeah. do more to make us one. I, I would not integrate a, 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 a rattlesnake into my household. I'm sorry. A rattlesnake's going to bite you if it gets a chance. So this is what we have to understand. Uh, we have to figure out a methodology which will actually work to defeat them. I've recommended... I did an editorial on this in Fox uh, uh, opinion about bringing NATO into this. NATO is a very effective organization. It needs to be focused on counterterror, on information sharing, and that sort of thing. And the other thing, for goodness sake, you have to get serious about defeating the networks. Being nice does not get you anything. At a certain point in time, if, if the, the enemy surrenders, then you embrace the enemy like we did during World War II, where we defeated Germany, defeated Japan. They were completely defeated and had to be rebuilt. There, we're not that year, there yet with radical Islam, and, but we have people on, in Islam mm -hmm. who are willing to help us do this yeah, to get to that to point. That we have to that. cultivate that. But, but we have to be realists, and you can't put your head in the sand about any of this. People Carl, are going to continue to die. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you, Trish. Thank you.